Yo guys, so got a Mastamon deck profile for you guys. I've been working on this list for a little bit, and I've been liking it a lot. I think I made it fairly consistent and just doing what you want to do, which is build up into your Mastamon as quickly as possible, uh, control the board via her effect with your Lusamons, your... Um, Mastamon effect, Flame Hell Scythe, etc. So there's a lot of really cool cards in this deck. Uh, it is a little bit on the expensive side, I will warn you. Um, but this deck is very, very fun. If you are a avid purple player, if you like combos, then this is the deck for you. So let's go ahead and just get into it. So for the rookies, I am playing a purple base, namely because of the fact that you have access to Demi Marimon. Just being able to draw a cycle cards, discarding is really important. I was testing this a little bit with the yellow base and just going back and forth um, you know, playing like the yellow purple mixed cards as well in BT8. I believe you get um, stuff like Wizardmon, there's stuff like uh, Kukimon here. So there's a lot more uh, yellow purple mixed cards. Oh, there's also the Rush Gatomon somewhere. Yeah, the Black Gatomon here that is also yellow purple. Um, but I think probably you want to have access to not only the Demi Marimon, but stuff like uh, BT2 Gabumon as well as Eismon Scatter Mode. We know Eismon is a crazy, crazy card. Anything that lets you say, Raw 3 is just broken. Not only that, but also setting up for your trash because of the fact that you are playing something like Mastamon, which takes a yellow purple Digimon from your trash and puts onto your security stack, which then allows you to play it. So you need to have certain cards in your trash. Most likely it's going to be Lucimon Chaos Mode and Magna Anjumon. Those are your ideal targets. You also need targets for Flame Hell Scythe here, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But my point is you need to set up your trash. So hence why I think the Eismon package and then of course the one uh, array Regular Eismon, rest in peace, is still really, really important. Um, but then that's why you're playing the Gabumon plus Eismon as well, because Gabumon, again, just helps you cycle through more cards. And also playing Tapirmon, um, I've been going back and forth on this, but I think if you don't see your Eismon, this is a really, really good card. Just being able to take out a security card and draw a card off of that. And then if you're swinging with Demi Mera, you draw two. So I think I prefer this rather than I was testing out Star Starter Deck Sukaimon, which like reveals three and searches like a fallen angel but your um fallen angel slash slash archangel targets aren't that many in this deck it's really only your ultimates plus mega and it doesn't actually even include loose on chaos mode um so while it is somewhat consistent i think i'd rather just have a draw card um that can trigger on deletion and then of course for the other rookies playing gazimon for your floodgate card this is just really really important for basically every matchup you could honestly bump this up i did want to make room for psychmon uh or psychemon i don't know how you say this guy's name um so this is bt8 psychmon this is a new type of floodgate where all turns players can't reduce play costs so this is both a good and bad thing i've mainly been testing this out i think i'm probably still leaning towards just playing more gauzies but um the only way this hinders your deck is the sense where you are playing a lucimon chaos mode from your hand and you need to reduce its play cost uh, for every 10 cards in your trash but if you have that um you know situation you can probably just play your um or like swing this into security death clots um or evolve it or something um if that situation ever arises but i think it's really important for slowing down the imperial deck this prevents your opponent from playing stingmon for a cost of three um because of the fact that stingmon says it reduces if you've got a blue digimon stuff like that also stops like random like bell star mons armageddon mons the, the, the list goes on so i think this card's really cool um and i don't think it hinders your deck too badly you're usually not playing lucimon from hand except Except for like very very late game uh, so that's the rookies uh, and then talked about the Eismon package a little bit one, just one low amon because uh, I am playing a couple purple tamers in this deck so just having a game finisher uh, is nice don't really need it in any sense um, very often so hence why just only one copy to end out games uh, but your real bread and butter here the real important piece is the uh, starter deck 10 Gatomon so this guy has three really three fantastic effects okay so first of all on play, reveal top three cards of your deck, add a yellow purple Digimon and a purple Digimon. So you get a immediately just a plus two. It is a five play cost, so a little bit hefty, but it more than makes up for it with all of its effects. So first of all, you get a plus two. 
so it's also not locked into like the types um like the um the skymon and stuff like that are so it doesn't have to be archangel or angel specifically it can be literally any card in your deck any of these yellow purple digimon and then of course the other effect your turn when this digimon would digivolve into a card with archangel or fall fallen angel you can reduce the digivolution cost by two so effectively making all of your ultimates hence um hence why i'm playing um lady devimon stuff but uh, of course excluding like uh, chaos mode here so it makes your Lady Devimon especially important because this is really the main one you're trying to digivolve uh, for a cost of one instead of three. So being able to have this as a follow-up to the Godamon is really, really crazy. Evolving this for one, drawing two, trashing two is really crazy. Um, and then, of course, the end of your turn inherited effect, you may DNA digivolve this Digimon into another Digimon in your hand um, by paying the DNA digivolve cost. So your essential combo goes like turn one, you play your Godamon, search some cards. Turn two, regardless of what memory yet you did evolve a lady devimon or something similar uh, for a cost of one draw some cards set up your trash and then you can either like a flame hell scythe or a hard play one of your uh yellow um, you know, ultimates in this scenario, let's say you hard play a Magna Anjuman, play for seven, recover one, and then during the end of your turn, last thing to resolve is this DNA Digivolution effect, you can then just fuse the Lady Devi in, and the Magna Anjuman into your Mastamon, and then immediately use Mastamon's when Digivolving effect, which is to place a yellow or purple Digimon from your trash on top of your security, and then since you DNA Digivolved it, you can then play a card from your security stack, so long as it is level five or lower, it also gets it on play effect. So that's kind of your main combo there and to kind of abuse that as much as possible you have two very very broken on play ultimates here so first of all you got loose on chaos mode this is the on play delete one of your opponent's tamers or level six or lower digimon so playing this off of mastamon is absolutely disgusting because you get to play um him pop something off of his on play effect and then pop something off of mastamon's effect since you played another digimon using its effect because you used mastamon's own effect you get to delete a level five or lower since loose a level five and then you get to delete either level six or lower or a tamer so popping two things in that one interaction and getting two digimon on board one of which is a level six one of which is a, a purple level five that uh, by the way sets up for your next dna digivolution something is just absolutely disgusting so hence you want to uh, abuse lucimon chaos mode as much as possible uh, and then your other really broken on play here is the Magna Anjumon on play trigger recover plus one. Now this is good not only because of course just recovering cards is good so you know if you let's say put this on top of your security play it off of the Mastamon you get to pop something off Mastamon and then recover off Magna Anjumon but it's also even more broken because of the fact that it is 6,000 DP and we'll get to why in just a little bit. And then the one of uh, Anjumon here I still do think this card is really good. First of all because it can evolve from a purple champion so if you're breaking a little bit and you need to evolve some something in your breeding area you can do that on play you can stun something sec attack minus two is um, handy a little bit of the times but really uh it's effect that when you have a purple digimon this digimon gets sec attack plus one is really really powerful so being able to you know hard play this free something digivolve um into a mastamon uh and then get sec attack plus one on the mastamon is really nice uh putting into 13,000 checking two cards is really crazy so that's the ultimates uh talked a lot about mastamon already but of course this is your main boss monster on the field the DNA Digivolution 0 from a purple level 5 plus a yellow level 5. So that's why you're playing so many level 5s. And that's really only the times you break is when you draw a lot of your high end and not enough of your low end to be able to set up for your DNA Digivolution plays. But Mastamon is really, really powerful for all those reasons. Okay, so then now for the option cards and for the tamer. So I am playing a little bit of, um, you know, this option card package where you kind of want to see these to delete your eyes, Mon. So one Calling from Darkness and one Death Call. You could probably play... Um, um, two of Calling from Darkness. I'd probably play Calling from Darkness over Death Cloud because you already have a lot of inherent board removal, but this is still nice to maybe pop floodgates like Gazimons and stuff. Uh, so these cards, I think, pretty much staples, especially Calling from Darkness, where you can fetch back any of your purple Digimon, including stuff like a Gatamon or a Mastamon, to use again in Gatamon, especially being able to use the search multiple times is really, really nice. Uh, now, the most absolutely broken uh, option card in this deck is going to be flame hell scythe here now the reason why this card is so broken um of course because it has two really powerful effects it is one one of your opponents digimon gets minus six thousand and now for six cost that's pretty decent right that's killing a 
pretty much most level fours or lower. Also gets around the armor uh, purge effect because if say your di uh, opponent's Digimon is like a Lydramon 5,000 DP, you can minus 6,000 on the Lydramon. It drops to zero, therefore it will be deleted, and then armor purge kicks in. You trash the Lydramon, but now that it is a Vmon or a rookie or whatever, it then checks the DP, which is still zero because it's um, you know that status condition carries. So it just therefore deletes it. So basically outs any armor Digimon 6,000 or lower, which I believe is all of them aside from Magnamon. Um, but that aside, the deletion effect aside, you then get to play one yellow or purple Digimon card with a 6,000 DP or less from your trash without paying the memory cost. And by the way, that Digimon also gets its on play effect. So being able to pop something and then abuse Magna Anjumon because he is 6,000 or lower DP, even though he is a level five, he then gets to get played and then you get to recover one as well. It is just so crazy. Not to mention, if you got a master on field, you're also popping something. So the reason why this card is so good is because you're basically accomplishing three things with one card. You're killing something via minus six thousand. You're playing a level five from your trash, and you're recovering one off of the uh, on of the Magna Anjumon. And that's kind of also why I'm only playing one Anjumon because you don't really ever want it. Like you pretty much always rather have Magna Anjumon aside from the fact that this is like an angel card and you know, has a cool on-play effect where you can stun something, that might come up, but realistically, you're playing Magna Anjumon for the most part. I'm also not playing the starter deck Lady Devimon. I think this Lady Devimon is, like, infinitely better, being able to trigger draw two, discard two, and then possibly popping something uh, whenever you play, like, a Calling from Darkness or, like, a Flame Hellside. So, imagine you got this under a Mastmon, you play Flame Hellside, you delete something off the Lady Devimon, delete something off the Flame Hellside, play a Magna Anjumon, recover one, and delete something off the Mag uh, of the Mastmon. Effect. So you're accomplishing like 20 actions in one. I think Flame Hellside is crazy. The only real downside is that it's a yellow purple, but you've got enough yellow and purple cards to be able to accomplish playing that. Okay, so then now for the Tamers, um, playing two copies of Kari, two Analog Youth, and two, uh, three copies of TK. Uh, two Kari, just because I think this is important for slowing down the game a little bit, I kind of do want to play more. I might try out like four Kari, zero Analog Youth, but I do also like Analog just for a little bit more consistency. Maybe it's better to just max out on one and not play the other. You guys can let me know if you do decide to test out this deck. Um, but Kari is really cool because one, it's a little bit of a defensive card, like I said, slows down the game stay just a little bit so it helps you get set up but also uh, this card says when a card is removed from your security stack you can suspend or to gain one so that also includes like your own card so if you resolve a tk or resolve a mastamon you still get to suspend to gain one so if you've got kari you can like use mastamon's effect put something on top play something from your security you suspend to gain a memory so really cool interactions there uh analog youth like i said mainly for the consistency uh, just because this deck is a little bit slow to start but then also if a level five or higher is deleted so let's say if your opponent outs one of your Mastamons um, or one of your um, ultimates here, you can just suspend it, gain a memory, hatch an egg. So it helps you recover a little bit if you get punched by their cards. And then three TK here, of course, just to help with consistency. This is a little bit risky, I will say, because you are playing a large volume of purple cards, but I think you're playing plenty of yellows to be able to justify. Being able to grab a Mastamon or a Godamon early on is really, really essential. Um, this is a really, really nice consistency card, arguably still one of the best tamers in the game. Um, and then just setting your memory to three is of course important but guys that is going to be the mastamon list let me know what you guys think down in the comments of this list and i encourage you guys to test it out um and to see what you like about mastamon do you let me know it down in the comments do you like yellow base better do you like purple base better do you think there's a different way to run this deck that i'm not entirely um like looking at or i didn't discuss in this video let me know your thoughts but guys that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching and we'll see you next time